are black women so argumentative? We find any and everything to argue over except something constructive. In fact, we don't consider it a good time unless we've been arguing and fighting with someone over something. We argue in defense of being single mothers. We argue in defense of cursing every other word and being whores because the men do it too. And we argue against accountability for our own actions. And we hide behind God and Jesus to do that with only God can judge me. They define themselves by conflict and not by who they're building with. You'll find one or a whole generation of black females fighting and holding grudges in any black family in America. 14 years ago, my grandfather was in the hospital dying. All of his children came to the hospital, um, six men and two women, and they were in the corridor discussing his care. And it was the two females that got into an argument over my grandfather's care. And that devolved into an argument over who was his favorite daughter. And they haven't been speaking since. There's a TV show I watch called Boardwalk Empire. And on the show in, I believe, season three, there is this ultra-violent gangster named Jip Rossetti. And it's said that he's so mean that he can find the insult in a bouquet of roses. That pretty well describes the average black female today. And the sad part is we're proud of this. We're proud to be loud and argumentative and rude and turn around and call that foolishness a strength. And then when nobody wants to argue with us anymore, we'll yell, you can't handle a strong black woman. This isn't just a cultural quirk. This illustrates a fundamental difference between the way black women handle conflict and the way the rest of the world does. No matter how inappropriate or petty the issue, we will find a reason to fight, and if she can't find one, she'll make one. Even if she knows what she's going to see she's not going to like, she'll go there anyway just to argue with people over their opinions. Go to any social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you'll find a black female arbitrarily arguing with people that she does not know just because their opinions. And the goal is never to come to a resolution. The goal is to just vent this never-ending cauldron of hate and anger and rage that's inside of her. I want you to take a look at something. I want you to watch this clip. It's a clip of an interaction between LeBron James and Mario Chalmers, also known as Rio. And I'll be right back. talked about LeBron being a great teammate. I mean, obviously this guy is a king. And for him to, to look at that in that situation and say, hey, I was wrong, speaks volumes to his teammates and his coach. As a woman, I understood that clip to be a demonstration of black male leadership. Look how quickly the situation escalated and then de-escalated. And one male was able to say to the other, my bad, bro. I was wrong. I have a question for black females. When is the last time you sat down, admitted you were wrong, and closed your mouth? See, LeBron understood that for the sake of his team, he should stand down and apologize for his outburst. <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with money or getting paid to get along well. The ability to stand down and apologize for poor behavior is a character trait. That is not something that, that comes with money. You, you have that or you don't. There are plenty of people with money who act stupidly. Black women as a whole, we do not lack the character to stand down. Even when it's destroying our team. You continue to fight and yell and argue to our detriment. And your arguments are so misguided and backwards and downright stupid that black men are openly discussing other races of women to build with. I know what you're, someone's going to say, you're tearing black women down, now what's your solution? The solution is be quiet. The solution is close your mouth. 
The solution is stop arguing, stop fighting, let go of your anger, and be quiet. If you spend less time talking and actually listening to what the men are saying, you keep game. Because they're not telling you what they exactly want you to do, but they're telling you what they'd expect from you as a woman. And you're too busy being a hate monger and a brat to absorb it. Black men in general are tired of us. This argumentative thing you've got going, which, by the way, you don't pull with white men, is pushing black men away from you, and it's not getting you anywhere. This is one of the reasons we've got a race full of baby mamas, and 50% of black women have herpes and no husband. At this point, black men are just tolerating us. They love us, they want to produce black families, but let's be honest, we've been overrun by hood rat slut culture, and as a whole, we are an undesirable group of women. My question is, why? Why are you so angry? What makes you so uptight you can't let anything go? Everything you see, everything you don't like, you have to comment, you have to go ballistic. Why? You see a comment online you don't like, you flip out on that person and everyone who agrees with them. The problem is you don't like yourself. We have the lowest self-esteem as a and the sad part is, a lot of us have no purpose because we don't even know why we were born. How many black children do you know that were born for a reason other than mom got knocked up and didn't afford me? I don't care what white women do, and I don't care that white women do it too because their batch of baby rate is not 75%, so I don't care. We wander through life aimlessly. We have no direction, no legacy, no wealth, no decent maternal figure to teach us decorum or how to be sexually responsible, and no parents to leave us anymore. There's no point in no direction. We have all the time in the world to sit on the internet and argue and yell and, and scream and go on an hours long tirade with people we disagree with. only get one life. Why would you spend it arguing? 